Hi Geminis, welcome to your June 2019 monthly readings. <clears throat> I just woke up, so... <laughs> I'm actually not a morning person either, people. I'm like a bear, if you poke me, I'm like... Arr! Anyhow, um, so this is your monthly, your no show and grow reading. I like these readings, it's how I choose to do them. Uh, I might switch it up actually, because I did think about it, uh, think about doing it differently this month. Um, so you had three extra cards that popped out. Um, they do confirm what's happening here. So uh, I'm not sure uh, what's happening, but we'll get into it. We'll see. I'm not looking for surface level things or superficial things. Uh, I'm looking on the things that are going to help you improve um, and move forward in life, uh, not stay stuck. Okay. Uh, and it seems for you guys, you have two ways of doing things. Um, and depending on how, um, what you choose will determine the outcome, uh, which sounds <laughs> It doesn't sound weird because we all have free will, right? So you have a choice uh, to make. You can either accept something or not accept it, okay? And if you don't accept it, then you're going to go into denial, all right? You can choose to uh, shine light on an issue or you can avoid it. If you avoid it, uh, it's going to prolong um, the blessings that the universe has to offer you. We'll put it that way, okay? So what you guys got is... Um, I am breath, and the first three cards I use, they're always affirmation cards. So you want to say these things to yourself in the mirror. Uh, they could help. You don't have to, but it could help. Second card you got is I am heart. That's what you need to show. What you need to grow is I am nurturing. Okay? You got a lot of green here, which means... Uh, I would highly recommend for you Geminis to get out in nature. So this means like walking. You need the fresh air. You need, um, hopefully you don't have allergies. <laughs> Perhaps gardening uh, could be a benefit to you as well. I do believe there is uh, a thing called gardening therapy. I think you can use that in therapy. Uh, don't quote me on that though, you guys. I'm not a uh, doctor. You know, I have certifications in psychology and uh, therapy, but I'm not a qualified doctor by any means. And certifications just mean I have knowledge, all right? Doctors have wisdom. <laughs> Your second card you got is uh, judgment. It says resurrection on the bottom of that. Um, what I'm getting, though, is that you have an issue that seems to... Um, I was going to say rear its head. I don't know why. Uh, but you have an issue that keeps popping up, that you keep pushing down somehow or avoiding it. Um, and, and it's just going to keep popping its head up until you deal with it. It's an internal issue, though. It's not an exterior issue. Uh, people can um, do things that ignite uh, this issue and makes it arise, like makes it pop back up. And you're not realizing it, though, I think. Some of you are aware of it, but some of you may not be aware of it, okay? So it's almost like um, animal instincts are kicking in. Uh, that could go for somebody around you or it can go, can go for you, right? I Honestly, I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I do, <laughs> okay? Then you have the Eight of Pentacles. It's prudence. That's what it says on it. Okay, and I get a um, happy birthday, all you Geminis out there, okay? Uh, this is like a birthday card to me, you know? It just reminds me of confetti, right? Um, the warning I am getting here, it's, it's great to go out and have fun for your birthday and stuff like that. But you have the, what you need to grow is I am nurturing and I am heart. So you need to do things that are self-love, okay? Uh, that are good for you that are not going to harm you. Like you don't want to wake up with a hangover, you know? Um, so it's like arts and crafts could be a really good birthday party idea. I don't know. Um, another thing would be, um, you know, you can take uh, a bunch of friends or something. Maybe if you're watching this for a Gemini partner, you're a male. Dance class. You can rent out uh, an instructor 
Uh, you can get this on Groupon too, you guys. <laughs> I'm not associated with Groupon, but I love Groupon. Uh, why spend more money when you don't have to? If you're just trying things, it's great for new experiences. But you can get an instructor. I don't know why I'm seeing this. And dancing. Um, so it's like you and your girlfriends and your guy friends uh, learn a dance. And then you go to a club and you you do it. There's something about um, self-love that's some, that healthy. Uh, things are going to nurture you and not um, harm you the best way I can put it. It's what I'm what I'm feeling. Self-love. Um, the next card you got is uh, Six of Swords and it's Discovery. Okay, and in this card you can see um, so you have a rainbow here. You see that? But here you have a fist coming and it's like a shield. Right? So it's blocking the rainbow from coming. It's like a defense mechanism. Uh, so it's like not allowing uh, the good things to come towards you. Like, But also you have to understand with, with, with good comes bad. I mean, that's just, it's, it's life. Okay. There's no up without down, no down without up. Okay. There's no happy without sad, no sad without happy. Okay. There, there's a balance uh, to life. So goodness is going to come. Yes, but you are going to get, I don't want to say bad, you know, like, but that—that that is the truth, right? So there's good with bad, all right? So not everything can be um, rainbows and butterflies, okay? So um, usually when something good's happening, another every area of your li life, there might be an issue that pops up. It's the scales balancing out. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? But the Six of Swords traditionally is a, a guy in a boat or a woman, I think in the writer weight, it's a woman in the boat with a child. Uh, and then a man leading, like taking them away. All right. But in that um, image, that boat's not going to go far, you guys. Okay, that's like a short destination uh, travel type uh, energy. Uh a lot of people are like, oh, it's moving away. It's a long journey. That boat's not going to get you long. I see more of the three of, uh, I think it's the three of wands has the, is it the three of wands that has the ship in the background? You need a proper vessel to travel, travel long distance. Um, short distance is, I see with the six of uh, swords. The next card you got is the knight of swords. Uh, I don't like this card. <laughs> It says fighting on it. All right. The knight, the swords characters get bad reps, you guys. Okay. Um, if this is a character, this is a no holds barred character. Uh, this person is coming after the truth and the truth at no cost. All right. They don't know any better. Okay. They're not um, concerned about feelings. They're co they're concerned about the truth or getting the right information from the correct source. So you want to ensure. Okay. What you need to know is that you have um, I am breath, you got judgment, and then you have the Knight of Swords. You don't want to be naive. Any information you're getting, you want to fact check it, okay? You, um, this guy can be selfish because he's not, con like, not in a bad way, though, okay? Because he doesn't know any better. He's not considering the feelings uh, or the opinions of other people when he's after something, or she, okay? Can be a she. All right. Th their concern is um, themselves. They need to know the information for themselves. Okay. So what you need to know is that there's a chance here. You want to be aware that when you are speaking or trying to figure things out, one, your source is very important. Unless you heard it from the person's mouth, don't believe everything you hear. Take it with a grain of salt. Okay. Because there's people that like to stir the pot. All right. You want to make sure that information is valid. It's going to improve your life. If it's information about he said, she said, don't even acknowledge it. Uh, don't listen to it because it's going to um, it's going to cause problems where there doesn't need to be problems. Okay. Another thing is uh, with Iron Breath, the Knight of Swords, 
and judgment. This could be like warning you of um, situations occurring and you may add to that situation. You may put gas on the fire, okay? Like you could get knocked down to the night, night stage, which means that you're not... Um, You're not pausing to evaluate the information you heard. You're emotionally reacting on it, okay? Because you're, you're going to make a judgment call, which means that you're going to uh, react, okay? And if you're reacting uh, with the Knight of Swords, it may not be on the proper information, all right? And you may, you don't, how am I putting, I'm not saying this correctly. You don't, um, you want to consider other people before you react. Okay, you want to consider what is this person getting out of it when they come to you and when they, they're saying a certain thing to you. It could be like, um, I feel like if this occurs, it will be at work. All right, so it could be somebody trying to bring you down, somebody uh, trying to cause problems between you and another person where there doesn't need to be problems, okay? So that person is that is doing that is trying to gain, um, it's a deflection mechanism. Uh, so they may be trying to um, deflect any, uh, how can we say, anybody from seeing or knowing what they're doing uh, because they're going to cause an issue between you and somebody else. So they're going to deflect it uh, so that the attention is brought upon you and somebody else and they're they're getting away with something. It makes them look good, right? Because you have some sort of issue happening. Just be aware of that, okay? What you need to know though is that you have to have a clear mindset before you make a judgment call, okay? You can't, um, and you have to go with the Unite here, okay? you have to go and find out the information in the source. So it could mean that you have to have an uncomfortable conversation with the person um, and ask them, did you say this? Um, did I offend you? Or um, what seems to be the issue? Or, you know, if it's with your spouse, okay? Because again, somebody could be interfering, okay? They're causing issues for their own well-being. I don't know how, how they would be doing that, but if you or having an issue with your spouse, you definitely want to be having that conversation with them, an uncomfortable conversation. Fighting's not always bad. It's emotions being expressed, just not properly. The person doesn't properly know how to express them. And when you get mad and upset, it means you care. There's there's feeling and emotion behind that, okay? There's no healing without feeling. You can't avoid that, all right? You could be dealing with somebody that... Um, doesn't know how to express their emotions, so it comes up as fighting, all right? But what this is advising you is definitely what you need to know is that you have to, uh, because it's not a queen, it's not a king. So you do have to be in this state, a knight. We all need to be knocked down to that state. It's a state of where, uh, I call it like the quest, okay? The knights are quest people. They're out there learning things, new skills and abilities. Uh, they're learning about the world that you can't trust everybody. They're learning that even, you know, the people closest to you, all right, uh, they have agenda sometimes, right? Like sometimes people don't want to see you happier than them, all right? Or they haven't dealt with their issues, so they're advising you in a manner where it's going to uh, prohibit you from moving forward. Definitely if you have a partner, okay, the, your relationship should just be based on the two of you. You shouldn't be bringing in anybody uh, to that unless, okay, unless you're going to see a counselor, okay? So a counselor for um, couples therapy. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that, all right? The new generation, uh, they're pretty open to it. The older generations, they can be a little more... Um, um, hard-headed about it, all right? Like, they feel like, oh, something's wrong with me. But honestly, couples therapy, like the millenniums, uh, the newer generations, they're more open to actually, when they start a relationship, going to couples therapy to learn how to communicate with each other before a problem occurs. So nothing wrong with that. That teaches you how to communicate, all right? We all 
uh, can improve in some area of our life like that. Okay. This is also saying that if you're going out and partying, you want to be, and this happens not so much with guys, all right? This happens with women, all right? When you drink, everybody uh, reacts differently to alcohol. <coughs> some people are, some women are criers. Some women are the woo women. Uh, you have other ones. Uh, they don't really think before they say things. Uh Things can come up when they're drinking uh, that they've been repressing. So you want to ensure that when you're drinking, okay, that, like, how can I put this? The warning is <laughs> an argument can occur if you're not um, giving yourself self-love. So if you're getting overly drunk with a bunch of people, uh, there's a fight that can occur in that scenario, okay? Something can rear its head, uh, I don't know why I keep getting that, but rear its head. Okay, what you need to show, you got turning in here as your card, last card in that um, column. Okay, it's the Four of Cups. And you can see there's a mask here. All right, so if you're having a setback, it's because there's a mask. Um, or this person is having a setback, it's because they're wearing a mask. So anything that you... Again, you guys, this goes two ways. It could be you or another person in your life, but anything that you think that's unseen is actually seen. Okay. So what you need to show is you have I am heart, you have the eight of pentacles, and then you have the four of cups. Again, depending on... Depending on how you uh, make your judgment call this month is going to determine the outcome. Okay. Uh, on the more positive set or more positive side, if you use um, logic and your heart, okay, you have I am breath and I am heart here, and I always advise to people, do not use one over the other, okay? Uh, there may be times where you have to, uh, but uh, honestly, I would recommend using both, because when you uh, consider your heart and you consider your mind, you're going to see the um, positive, positive and negatives of both, but you're going to be able to troubleshoot and see errors before they occur. Whereas if you just use your logical mind, um, there's going to be things that you could have improved on. Or afterwards, you could have, you, you'd be saying to yourself, I could have handled this a little bit better. I could have done that. Okay. If you use your heart, you can end up um, being a fool, you know, like getting taken advantage of. And then you're sitting there like, I could have done this better. I should have done that. Right? Whereas if you use your heart and your mind, you're considering both of them, you're evaluating both of them, and you can make an objective decision. All right, One that is a balanced decision. You really... Um, see, here's the thing. I am heart, prudence, and turning in. I'm seeing a lot of... Uh, Self-love is strongly coming through here, so I don't know what that means, okay? With prudence, there's a brush here. It could be um, makeup uh, with the mask. That's like makeup to me, all right? Uh, personally, I don't, I'm not a fan of makeup. As you can see, I touch my face a lot. <laughs> I don't want to have like, you know, also, but it's not good for your skin either. A lot of chemicals and stuff are put in that, okay? But the thing, um, it's a mask that people wear. You should feel beautiful without makeup, right? And, and makeup is uh, a bonus. Like when you go out, when you're partying, that type of thing, you put it on. But for every day to day life, it's like, I don't know how to describe this. So people... <clears throat> How can I say this? All right. Girls seek attention. Women seek respect. There's a big difference between the two. All right. And generally speaking, men or women, it applies to. Okay. I shouldn't just say women. All right. Generally speaking, um, on a psychology level, if somebody is seeking a lot of attention on, on Facebook and stuff like that, somewhere along that you have, like, this could be you, it could be somebody else, I don't know, but there's a issue that stems um, 
it could go from childhood. I would recommend, I'd say, like, teenager years, young, 10 to 18. Okay, generally speaking, those people that seek a lot of attention online, right, they show their body off a lot, or they have to have that perfect face on all the time, stuff like that. Uh, generally speaking, uh, they didn't get a, some sort of love or attention from a um, parent when they were younger. So they seek that as validation when they're older, okay? Uh, so in that case, you, the next card you got is understanding. You need to understand that. You need to give yourself love if that's you or if it's somebody else, okay? There's some, there, there could be, um, could be your partner, right? Here's the thing. If you have a partner and you're with a partner, your partner shows you love and the language of love, people, is different for everybody, okay? You can speak the same um, verbal language, okay? Like you both speak English, you both speak Spanish, you both speak uh, Ukrainian, whatever it is, Chinese. <laughs> but the language of love is different, okay? So what I'm seeing for you guys, if you have a partner, your partner shows this through actions uh, in an earthly manner, which would mean they're a provider, they provide you with like, they'll pay for dinners or they make you dinners or they'll do dishes for you or uh, they might make you coffee. Uh, they do your laundry. Um, they may arrange appointments for you. This is how they show love. So like if you're have there's, if there's a barrier or, or you're questioning things, um, what I'm getting is that you're like, your partner shows you like, um, in a material way. So it may not be what you're used to. Like, so if you think there's a problem, there isn't a problem. You just, you need to see things a little bit differently is what it's saying to work on things. And perhaps, um, you want it verbally, but they are more of an action oriented person. So they may buy you gifts like, um, But what you need to show is you have I am heart, you have the eight of pentacles, and you have the four of cups. So you have to work on your emotional state, um, self-love, okay? You have to work on loving yourself. So that means that sometimes you might have to say no to people. Uh, if they want to go out and do something that you know is not beneficial for you, or you're going to be out late and you got work the next day, but you're going to be super tired the next day because you went out uh, and you know that, you got to say no, right? there's a course or something you're interested in, you got to see, say yes. Some of you could be makeup artists. Maybe that's a business that you want to pursue. Uh, design, you know, like I find Gemini is really good at beauty things. Okay. They're, 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 they're really good with that. And they're, they tend to be up to date on trends and things like that as well. That could benefit you. Um, the warning here is that the mask, so just be authentic, authentically you, all right? Uh, if you feel you can't, then there's an underlining childhood issue there. Perhaps it's like when you were a child, you wanted to uh, play soccer, and, you know, and your parents said, no, you're going to ballet, all right? So you feel like by speaking up what you want, you're automatically going to be told no, or by being who you are, you're going to be rejected in some manner. It's saying that that's not the case. You're not a child anymore. You need to heal that inner child issue, all right? And you can't hold that against the person, um, like your parent or anything, because honestly, they were doing the best that they could with the information they had, all right? And they did a little bit better than what their parents did, okay? Like, we're all human. We all make mistakes and we all, all have issues that we need to work on, but you can't work on that until you recognize it, right? So what they were aware of, they tried. They wanted the best for you guys, okay? But art could be really good for you guys. It could be therapeutic. Um, uh, planting can be therapeutic for you guys. Um, perhaps you need to be more emotionally available. You could be the one that shows through actions. So this can mean like you pick your spouse up, you know, like you take the kids to school. This is how you show your love. All right. But, um, it's either you or your partner wants more emotional. All right. And there's a warning here of somebody, uh, 
not properly expressing their emotions and, and, and it coming out as fighting because they're not saying what they actually uh, feel or they're they're fearful of it. it it's coming down to childhood though That's, honestly there's two ways you can handle things though you can um, choose to avoid it or you can choose to see it okay like and the last section you guys got is says I am nurturing you have the six of swords and then you have the page of cups and the page of cups is understanding you guys that's what it says on it understanding I don't know what's coming out of his hands and his head. It's, it's also like when your emotions are off, okay? When you're too emotional, you can make promises that you can't keep, right? You should never say, you should never make a promise when you're angry and you should never make a promise when you're happy because it, it, your heart and your mind are on two opposite ends at that point. So you need to balance them before you... Um, make a decision in some manner. For some of you, the Page of Cups is your child. Okay? So, what you need to grow is I am nurturing, Six of Swords, and the Page of Cups. You need to grow moving away of what no longer serves you. And you, like, it's going to come down to you. I am nurturing means... Uh, well, that has a lot of different meanings, you guys, okay? But it, this is self-focused about you, so you need to do things that are nurturing for yourself, okay? So I think we I went over this with you guys before. It's not about looking good. It's about feeling good. How do you feel? When you go to the gym for a week, you feel like you have more energy, okay? When you, um, your inner child, too, something here about the inner child, it needs to come out. It's okay to come out, all right? Like, you got some nieces or nephews, uh, take them out and fly a kite. Okay, you think, oh, that's boring. You can get them from the dollar store. You don't got to spend a lot of money, you guys. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm like one of the cheapest people you'll ever meet, you guys. Not all the time. I spend money on the people I love, all right? Just not unnecessary money. <laughs> all right? So this this... The Page of Cups is is quite creative, actually. They're, they're, they can be artists. Um, I do see Cups characters more scientific. They can be great scientists, right? There's a deep understanding with them, uh, a connection. They're energy-oriented, too. So they're very in tune with their surroundings. So... Here, okay, here, actually, this was Gemini, actually, that uh, was talking to me about this. He has a son. It's a co-worker of mine, right? And uh, the one day, he was talking to me about his uh, son and with his partner. I'm not sure why I'm bringing this up, because I think, like, it's a very valid point, okay? And this, this may not be a point for you, but if you can mm, get the idea of what I'm trying to say here, okay? So him and his wife took his kid to the park and the kid was running and the wife was getting upset at the kid saying, okay, you know, not, not like yelling or anything, but, you know, getting scared or worried about the child. Like, okay, you can't run far from mommy. You have to come back to mommy. Okay. Like you can't keep running. All right. And this went on for like five minutes. And then finally he turned around and said, okay, well, that's not fair. You can't get upset at the kid for doing something that he's supposed to be doing because you're not willing to do the work, if that makes sense. She wasn't really willing to run after the child. She didn't want to run after the child, right? Because maybe she had a long day or whatever, right? Kids are a lot of energy, but it's a natural state for a kid to run, explore. Uh, they have energy. They, it's built up. They need to, they need to uh, remove it. And by removing it, they need to be active in that sense, okay? But by her getting upset because the kid was running, she didn't want to run towards the kid, right? You can't get upset about something like that. The kid's just doing what the kid wants. Why she was upset, and he made an excellent point when he did this. I was like, oh, man, that's mind-blowing. I can't believe you said that to your wife. <laughs> and she couldn't say nothing to him either because he was right. You know, like, 
because you don't want to run after the child. You're getting upset, but the child is just doing what a child does. So you can't get upset at them for something that that you are the one that has the decision, like the control over, you know, you can just run after the child, you know, like, does that make sense to you guys? So there could be a scenario where you're getting upset, that it doesn't, you don't need to be getting upset or it's an opposite person. They don't need to be getting upset. They're upset because um, really it comes down to them taking the action on it. And I don't know if that makes sense. I may not, you guys. Okay. But what you need to grow is I am nurturing. So taking care of yourself, going for walks, going to the gym, if that's what um, is going to make you feel better. Okay. Um, going out there, taking short trips. Okay. Not fighting. Um, it's like um, if you were on a diet, okay, and you had a, a family member or spouse and they brought something over and then you get mad at them because they're like, oh, well, you know, I ate that and I ate that because you brought it over. Again, going back to the child thing, like with uh, the male and the female, the wife getting upset because the child was running. Well, in that scenario, you can't be upset that you ate it. That was your decision, right? You, like they were just doing them. Like you can't, that's their decision, their free will. You had the decision to eat it or not. So you can't get upset at them or think, oh, well, they, they're trying to get me off my track. No. Like you have to be able to face temptation, right? Like if you're an alcoholic, one of the major steps in, in um, recovery is to be able to be around it and not be tempted by it. Like, um, and I know a few alcoholics, so like, and that there's some of them that um, would get upset that people would decide to drink around them. In the beginning phases when they're going through rehab for that, yes, I can understand that. But in the long term, if it's been five years, you can't expect everybody to bend to uh, your your will in that sense, right? You have to have self-control. You can't get mad at them for drinking. Well, they're not the one with the issue. <coughs> you need to be able to control that issue, right? And I actually, <coughs> pardon me, I knew two people that, uh, you know, they've been 10 years sober. That they said to me, that was the biggest challenge was them mm, having to be able to look themselves in the mirror and point the finger at themselves and not get mad at anybody else because they had to be able to fight the temptation. You know, they're both those two people that had that mindset of that, you know, you know, please live your life normally it, because it's not your problem. It's my problem. And I need to learn how to um, be around these things and not be tempted by it. Those two people that, um, have been sober for 10 years. Okay. They've been sober for 10 years because they fought their temptation. They faced it head on. Okay. And the people that I knew that would get upset at other people drinking around them after they were two years sober or whatever, they ended up going into, um, remission. I guess you could say it is, is, is that the proper term? I don't know. And that was because they kept pointing the finger at everybody else. They weren't facing their own demons. They were blaming, uh, the problem on other people. Oh, if they're my friend, they shouldn't be drinking around me. All right. Well, we all face challenges in life because they couldn't face the temptation head on the issue within themselves. They were unable to stay clean. These people have been jumping off and on the scales for many years now. Right. But they got to learn the hard way. You have to have understanding for the self. You do have an inner child thing here that you have to heal flying the kite, man. You guys let your inner child out. Seems like something stupid, but when you're like flying that kite, the smile on your face is... <laughs> you can be 50, 60 years old, man. Your inner child is going to come out. I, I swear to you, being near the beach could be really good for you guys, but getting your feet in the ground. Nurture yourself. Eat healthy foods. You have a lot of sugar in your diet, substitute it with uh, honey. Really good substitution. Um, the three cards that came out that are extra for you is you got the two of wands. Okay, it says possibilities. The three of pentacles. It says work on it. You see that? And then you have the star card at hope. Okay. Now, you have two ways of handling things. That's the two of wands. There's two directions you can go. There's two directions you can take. All right. You can blame others or you can um, be self-focused. You can nurture yourself, find out where that root issue is. All right. 
uh, you definitely have to put the work in. You have three pentacles. It does say work on it, right? So it's not going to come down to anybody else. It's coming down to you. If you know that you need a better coping, coping mechanism, you have to go out and search for that information. If you know that you want to start a business, but you're just overwhelmed and you think, oh, this is too much. In that scenario, if you're a makeup artist or something like that, okay, uh, you can volunteer at women's shelters, um, abuse shelters, things like that, uh, homeless shelters for women. Okay, they have lots of programs where they actually need volunteers. Uh, and, okay, it helps you to help them in the sense that um, when you do their makeup for their interviews and stuff, because a lot of them go on job interviews and things like that, uh, you do their makeup, you're helping them build confidence up so they feel... Uh, presentable okay or like they're not being judged uh but you get a free profile picture out of that too all right you can take a before and an after and you, you can build up your profile like that okay you may have to do some freelancing for a while okay some free work for a little while um what i would recommend if you guys are getting overwhelmed about a business or something like that i would recommend a web uh, so that means like start with your, your basic idea. Uh, you want to draw this out on a big board. Again, you can get these from the dollar store. Okay. We all used to do projects as kids, <laughs> but then you want to web it out. Okay. And you just step by step, you know, um, if you want to start a business, have your business idea there, web it out. Uh, what do you need to know? So you're going to have to research. So that would, you know, I'm just winging this here people. So this, it's not going to be accurate. You'll see it once you web it out and then step by step, you tend to one of the ideas. Okay. And in order to manifest it, it's best to, to see it. Uh, and then you're saying it. Okay. Which brings it into reality. Okay. There's hope there. You guys can heal whatever the issue is. Um, but again, I'm going to use that. Um, what is it? There's that old African proverb. You hear it in a motivational speech. I think I heard it, uh, once or twice. When you face the enemy within, the enemy outside of you can do you no harm, okay? Because your biggest enemy is you. It's nobody else, all right? Self-focus here, okay? you got to nurture yourself, so that means going for walks, eating the proper foods, uh, and holding yourself accountable, making the judgment calls. You have prudence, right? you got to do what's best for you. But it's telling here... You have to work on being nurturing towards others. Other people have these same issues. You guys aren't the only ones with it, all right? I, this is coming up in your reading because there's an importance here to get you to the next level, all right? Like, uh, everybody's facing this. It's a level of awareness, though, and it's being made aware to you because there's some sort of... Mm, there's something keeping you from hitting your rainbow, all right? So, it, what you need to... Grow is I am nurturing, working on things, discovering things about you and about the others around you, you know, and be understanding, all right? The Page of Cups, he's an awesome friend. He feels what you feel, right? She feels what you feel. Great listeners. So listen before you speak or react, okay? So use both your heart and mind. That's going to that's gonna highly benefit you this month. I wanted these readings to be shorter. I can I can't seem to get it down. Okay, so I'm going to pull, these are called the little wisdom cards. And we're going to end it with that. Hopefully this helped you guys out. The decision is going to come down to you um, to be understanding towards others and yourself. Okay, nurturing, uh, giving yourself alone time when you need it, walking, getting fresh air, uh, going to the beach. Okay, picnics at the beach with friends, barbecues. Okay. You had one that came out. Oh, it's a cat. And then oh, that's the back. Okay. It says, what does this cat see? Could she be catching a vision? You can too when you ask Source how it sees itself as you. Affirm that when asked, Source must answer. Write out your most pressing questions. Create follow-up uh, queries for further clarity like what does it feel like sit quietly and receive write down your impressions 
They may be in the form of words, images, or feelings. Give thanks and review your notes. And I did talk about doing a web. So that's kind of, you know, like if you have an idea, write it out. It, you know, uh, I find Geminis can be great portrait, uh, portrait writers. You do have this card here, which is like art. It's a paintbrush. You know, maybe take a paint class with some friends. I think that's becoming more popular for date night. I actually took my mom um, for Mother's Day with the whole family. She loved it, you guys. It didn't cost that much either. And she, she loved it. Alright, you guys. Hopefully this helped you out. Namaste, and I will talk to you next month. Ciao for now.